I have a question for you. Are you a student? If you are the student and using this type of pen which is made by just wood, you should switch the pen something like that I have. What's up everybody, I'm Shoro and today I'm here to talk about what's in my pen case in 2020. You know, I'm from Japan and I'm a teenager and a student and I always, uh, most of the time study. Since Japan is really familiar with the stationery like pens, ballpoint pen or eraser, ruler and pen case, I love so much stationery and uh, you know, that's what I got in my life. When I was a middle school age, but even still now, I often go to the shops like Lofter or Tokyo Hands and uh, get some stationery like this. And so today, I wanna show you guys what's in my pen case in 2020. Let's go! I'm gonna talk about my stationery itself today. I'd like to say, since these were my most favorite, I put links on my description. So if you are interested in some of the stationery like I have, go check my descriptions and see what you got. So let's do this. My main mechanical pencil, or my pen always I carry on, is Smash.3 and uh, I always love it. This one is pretty much amazing because this one has a record from Amazon which named Amazon Annually Stationery Ranking and this pen, the Smash, has a number one several times. So this one is pretty much amazing, but it's not the exact reason why I love this pen. So today I got a couple reasons why I love it. First, I love this flexible knock pass on the top of right here. If you knock this pen, it doesn't have a loud sound. Some of the other pen, when you knock it, it really has a knock, really loud sound, like from the Rami, and there's something from the Pentograph gear. You know. I don't like a loud clicking sound and sometimes this clicking sound break my concentration and uh, I don't want to study or focus on anymore so but on this smash pencil the sound of knocking is uh, really silent and also the design of this smash pencil is really sick and cool you know this black ears and really light body I really love it and I think this body is made by the plastic so even if you grab or keep studying there is no smell of the wood or metal or you know something like that because this one is made by plastic and also I love this boxish grip right here when you grab this pencil you had to have and you had to grip this you know grip and uh, this grip you know I have never seen something like it before and there is no similar with the other pencil so I think these are the reasons why most of the people know and uh, love this smash pencil and you know they used to sell only the 0.5 of the smash pencil until 2090 but in 2090 they started to sell the 0.3 one you know I'm the person I really love the 0.3 pen reads and uh, when they publish the 0.3 one <laughs> I go Go get them as soon as I possible so you know since then this one is one of my favorite my next favorite over the mechanical pencil is from the pentagraph gear this one is also the point three and you know this one is pretty much amazing too this one I have a strong reason why I bought this pen have you ever experienced or done something like before like you are just joking and making a fun with your friend while you are studying and accidentally your friend stabbed your hand with the pen and your pen release is in your hand actually I did or well, my we did it my brother stabbed my hand and there is still a pen release in my hand and I really do not like it I do not want to happen it again so that's the one is the reason why I bought this pen because this pen near can withdraw. You know, you can knock this pen like this. And you can withdraw the pen near like this. 
and so you know they're a uh, completely no worries about stopping other people or hurting your skin or lighting other parts or like your pocket or chest pocket you know it's totally safe and also this pentograph gear professionalized drawing writing or technical writing i mean this pentograph gear is technical pencil and uh, it professionalized writing or drawing especially like architecture or some of the objects so that's why this pen enables you to write so smooth and uh, it can write even the small words precisely so you know anyway i love this pencil i have one more mechanical pencil this is my third one and this one is from delgard point three and also i have a reason why i bought this one you know i am the person who has a strong writing pressure and sometimes i snap my pen read and actually i don't like it I don't like to snap my pen read and I also do not like the sound of snapping my pen read and it frustrates me. So that's the reason why I bought this pen because this pen saves you from snapping your pen read. Because this pen read will slow by having too much writing pressure. So you know, you don't have to worry about the snapping of pen reads. Next one's up my ball pointed pen and these were the, my most favorite ball pointed pen and uh, when I have to have the pen, I also have this one. And this one is from Lamy. The name is the Blue Safari Ball Pointed Pen. And this one is really sick. And you know, I really like this one. I love this design of this Lamy Blue Safari Ball Pointed Pen. And you know, there is also a flexible knock part on the top of right here. But sound of knocking is a little bit louder than smash one, but I don't really care about it. Because you know, when I use the ball pointed pen, I can't make a mistake, you know. If I make a mistake, I can erase it, so I can anyway focus on it. So, I like this one. And also this one is made by the plastic, the name is ABS plastic. And so, there is no smell of the metal of the wood and it is really easy to grip and grab this ball pointed pen, the Safari and Lamy pen. So, I love this one. But I've told you many of my favorites, like I like it or I love it, this design. But Next one is I highly recommend you guys to check this one when you are the adult or you have to choose the, your best ball pointed pen. This one is the Fiber Castle ball pointed pen. This one is pretty much amazing and I really love it. Oh my gosh. The first is design. This Fiber Castle design is really cool. Uh, it looks like really gentleman and wise genius and it seems like this one is made by a uh, metal but the on the middle part this is made by the wood and uh, you know I really like this design and also this one has a really large refill and uh, I have never changed this refill in my life I think I didn't use really much but this one is really large refill so I love it and uh, you know the other reason well, I don't really use it because this one cost 57 bucks. So if you want to buy this one, you have to decide yourself, like 57 bucks. You know, on this one, I've tried to find the exactly same things, but I didn't find the same things. So I found a similar things on the Fiber Castle. So if you are interested in this one, you'd better check my description and there is just a it's not the same one, it's just a similar one. So, you know, next one is my colored bow point pen, is from Sarase. I have this Sarase from green, light green, blue, light blue, colored pink, and orange. And you know, there are so many color variations in Sarase colored bow point pen, and I really love it. I think they also have the 0.3 one and 0.7 one. And you know, this is the 0.5 one because I don't really care about where this is the 0.3 or 5 or seven because all what i have to do is highlight it is really easy to memorize when you highlight and color the sentence and it is also easy to prepare for your test so 
I highly recommend you guys to buy and check these Tartar Colored Pen if you do not have even the one. So you know you can make your own notes by having this colored pencil or colored ballpoint pen and from Sarate. So I love these things and it can help me to memorizing or preparing for my test. So you know these ones are my favorite. And here I have uh, two readers. The one is from the 13 centimeters meter and the one is from the 15 centimeters meter. And I'm gonna show you and tell you why I have two of those. When the paper is bigger enough and I can even line now with this 15 centimeters ruler, I have to have this 30 centimeters ruler. And you know, I can line up and I can line up the sentence or highlight. You know, it is really easy to line up with 30 centimeters ruler. And I also use this for cutting the paper or tearing the paper because I don't want to have a scissors. So this one can do the work. But also, I use this 15 centimeters ruler because this one professionalized for lining up better than 30 centimeters meter. And when I want to line up the small things, I also use this one because this one can line up so precisely. So, you know, I love both of them. And I said scissors, you know, I don't want to have a scissors in my pancakes because it is really big to have a uh, scissors in my pancake since this one is really small I have a cutter right here if I really want to cut and tear something like so straight I have to have this cutter and I have to use this one because you know when I tear the paper with this 30 centimeters ruler it is so rough and uh, honestly I don't really like Sometimes it's okay, depends on the situation, but sometimes I have to use this cutter. So I also have this cutter. And here is my pen reads. Pen reads because I have two of them. The one is from the H and one is from the 2B. The reason why I have two of those is, you know, write some other pen reads and when I change my mind, I don't, I want to use the other pen reads and uh, it makes me happy and it's kind of the refresh and afterward I can study and I can focus on studying and uh, I can focus on anything if I refresh so that's why I have two of the pen reads and here is my eraser here uh, I have a black eraser if I have to choose white or black, I definitely choose the black because black is my favorite color and I found this eraser, the black eraser. This one do the job. It doesn't like scratch anything, it really do the job and I like this one. You know, most of my stationery is the black, so I chose the black one. And I think this is the almost the final one because, you know, when the teacher or your friend gave you the hand Arts, or if I got a sum of the document, I have to have stick it to the note. So I have the glue right here. But you know, since my pancake is really small, I don't want to pack so big things into my pancake. But I just have this glue, and I think this glue is really small one. So I, I have this glue. The last one is my pancake, and this one is from the Paco tray. I bought this one before I go study abroad, and the reason is I had a black one, but you know, my backpack is also the black one, and I don't want the same color of the pancake and the backpack, so I just found the red one. And you know, it is really easy to find the red things, like if I have red pancakes, it is really easy to find it. So that's the reason I bought this one. I can have this, my stationery into my pancakes, so it is really good size. Because you know, you can hand this one and carry this one with your just a hand. And inside this pancakes, there is the two walls right here. So I most of the time use right here for the rulers and the cutter. And these ones are my mechanical pencil and the ballpoint pen. And there are the, my sarasins. So you know, this one can do the job and I like this one. So thanks for watching today's video, I'm Shoro and today I talked about my stationery, what's in my pancakes.
Like I said, I put my links, my stationary links in my description of the Amazon. So if you are interested in this stationery, you'd better check and go to the Amazon and uh, you know find some other stationery like I do. Having a stationery is really good and I hope to keep doing this episode what's in my pancakes in the next year. So thanks for watching today's video and I hope to enjoy this video and I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Oops! Done.